they're going to end up with pulling a scam for 80 grand. They really want up to you. What? If I this would, had worked, so think about it. I would it. never. They I really want a cigarette though, please. Sir, please. Oh, she's breaking you. down. If you want to talk to me, that's fine. We want to talk, we really want to listen. This is the money that you took out a couple hours before. I never took it out. Hey, I'm here with Zach. He is a former scammer who's done several bank fraud scams, which is disgusting um, behavior on his part uh, that someone would do that. But it's good, good entertainment to discuss. <laughs> yes, but there is a viral video or a video that's going viral on YouTube, which is body cam image of a Tampa police officer who showed up to arrest a woman who was running a scam uh, in a looks like maybe a credit union or a bank or something. Anyway, they get her in the bank. So we're going to review the footage and kind of break it down. What what I think is happening and what Zach thinks is happening. And Zach's wrong. Aren't you going to tell me that you're accusing it of being? A, a I think it's a form, a version of the oh, wasn't no, me no, scam. It's a version. It's a version no, it of the wasn't me. It's not a me. version. It's not I a think version. it is. It has nothing to do. And just so just so it's clear of what wasn't me is it's one of those, the wasn't me is where I would actually take my own money, right? And then just tell the bank that wasn't me that took my own money, right? right? In order for them to give the money back, right? right. That, that's the, the gist of the wasn't me. Right. So <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit. So what, what Zach would do is he that's would- That's the minor scale of it. That's, you know, a, gotta, yeah, that's, the, not, that's <laughs> not good enough. So listen, what Zach's, one of Zach's scams was, Zach would have someone go open up a bank account using a fake ID. So they would open up a bank account. They would, he then put like $10,000 in the bank. Then when they got the debit card mailed to them, they would, Zach would clone it, go, he'd mail it several states away. Someone would walk into, let's say a post office and they would use it at the point of sale and they would buy, let's say $10,000 worth of money orders. He would then call the person who had opened up the bank account and say, go in the bank and try and get out $200. So they would walk in the bank and they'd say, hey, I need to get out $200. And the teller would pull up their account and say, wow, you don't have, you have like whatever, $12 in the account or whatever. They have very, almost no money in the account. And they'd say, what are you talking about? I didn't, I have $10,000 in that account. They'd say, no, it was just removed. When? 30 minutes ago. Where? And they'd go, hold on. In Tampa, Florida, in a, you know, from looks like a, you know, some kind of a, like a post office in Tampa, Florida. And they go, oh my gosh, well, that wasn't me. I didn't do it. We're now, you know, they're in Ohio. They're, I'm in, I'm here. You know, that's five hours away. And they go, do you have your debit card? And they go, by yeah, plane. it's right five here. Five hours away by plane. By plane. <laughs> they'd be like, I got my debit card right here. And they'd be like, oh my gosh, go see the manager, Sal Sally. They'd go see Sally, say, look, and Sally would pull it up and say, oh, wow, yeah, there's no way you could have done this. Okay, we're going to return your money. They'd return the $10,000. They would then take the money out and close the account. So that's the wasn't me, because technically, by law, if money is removed from your account that you're saying you didn't have anything to do with- Unauthorized. Unauthorized, then the bank, by law, has to give you the money back. So that was the scam. I think that's what's happening. A version of that scam is what's happening here. <clears throat> Zach is saying that's not what's happening. But part of the funny thing about the video is the, one, the way the woman is behaving when she's arrested. She's trying everything to figure out some way to back out of this. How are you doing? Hello. Can I hang up my phone with her? Yeah. Can I just... It, do you does that give you flashbacks to those moments of happening to you? <laughs> like you like like I'm just like uh uh <laughs> that I wake up and uh, <laughs> Oh that 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 uh that the, heat that the, heat that sickness that f comes up from your stomach yes. into your chest. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. you try not to display on your face. You you wanna you wanna look puzzled and confused, like what? what? When really everything's like run! Oh, I, oh I, I sat in a bank and argued with him. Yes, See you what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, I've. So, I've, how did you fight the heat? You just. Because I'm sure you, you started beating it down immediately. No, I, the only time I really had that kind of hit me was when the cops showed up. Like, that's like, normally I'm like, let's keep in mind, I'm, I haven't stolen anybody's ID. Like, if I went in, I didn't steal somebody's identity. Like, I got a real driver's license. I have a real this, real that. I right. opened the bank account. I know everybody involved. So, I know they didn't call somebody 
right. and get get a hold of them and them say, my identity was stolen. So I'm sitting there arguing like, this is procedure or po- this is policy that we're uh-huh. arguing about. Like, I'm not concerned that they're like, the cops are going to walk in and say, you stole someone's identity. Even when they grabbed me and arrested me, you know, handcuffed me and brought me downtown and I talked myself out of it. Even then, I knew that Gary Sullivan, which was the person I was pretending to be at that time, like... He's a homeless guy that lives under their bridge. Gary didn't clean up his life and contact the cops. I promise and track this down. Right, right. I just thought that some wires got crossed and they figured it out. And oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. So then I was terrified. I just right. had to start talking. I started talking my way out of it. So see, way it, better it, than her, by the way. That's exactly what I was about to say. I swear, but go ahead, go ahead and play. <laughs> right now you're just being detained pending an investigation. Um, you're not currently under arrest, but you are being detained, okay? Did he say detained? Yeah, she... Yeah, she's not under arrest. She said you're currently detained. Right. right. Which one of y'all want to talk to me? It wasn't me. Okay. It was probably some back office. Okay. Sorry. So we got a call from another man? Yeah. yeah, because I was trying to hold on to her. Is she alone? Is it, is this game now? Who is she? Who else is she? A lot of funds are being transferred to other accounts. And they're coming into the trial. But... It appears that they are the two ones, like her, that they're transferring through internet banking, and then they're going to the branches and we're trying. This morning we had her account, $10,000 was withdrawn from Jamar, and she's saying it wasn't her. See? Yeah, she's here to withdraw There was nothing. Wait a minute. So she's saying... That $10,000 was withdrawn from her account. And then she walked in and said, that that wasn't wasn't me. me. That stole that. But keep going. Because I was focused on the transferring in. Yeah, but how the money gets in the account is irrelevant. I think I I figured that out too. Because I watched it a couple times. And I I focused on like what happened was, you'll see like somebody obviously opened, had like 40 grand in their account. Yes. Transferred Transferred it into these people's account. Right. Then he went in the bank. After it was withdrawn, he goes in the bank and he says, I had 40000 in this account. Where's my money? And, and they, then they, wear, they wired it back. Uh, I don't know about wiring it back. Yeah. Let's see. All right, well, yeah, go, yeah, ahead, let's go see. ahead. Go ahead. I don't remember that part. But, but she talks very lightly, too. Yeah. I can you know, barely hear her. Hold on. What is it that she's done right now? She uh, She's trying to withdraw the 10000 okay. um, But she hasn't withdrawn no, anything. No, our risk and compliance department block it. Okay. Because they saw the scheme. So she's just here to withdraw. Mm-hmm. Money was deposited into her account this morning. And she mm-hmm. came here to withdraw it. Yeah. So she's under arrest because she's there to withdraw money. Money that was already withdrawn from her account. Correct. So she's saying, that wasn't me. That withdrew the money earlier. Earlier. I should have $10,000 in my account. Where's my money? All right. It, all right. And, and this is what's funny is that the person that withdrew the, the 10000 is her. Did you see that? Where should they go? Yes. They check the ATM? Yes. So she said, and then she says, you'll hear her say multiple times in the thing where like, I haven't withdrawn anything from an ATM. And it's, cl- they're like, it's clearly her. Right. So she's, they, they've got her like, it's just so bad. Like you, they're going to check the cameras. Like, what are you doing? So he said I was detained. So. You're not free to leave. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to go nowhere, but I need to call my mom because this. We're not calling anybody up here. We can't call her so y'all can tell her that I'm probably finna go to jail because yeah. Uh, I don't, I, ma'am, I don't even know the story yet. Okay, no, I hadn't okay. asked you anything. I hadn't talked to anybody. I've been saying, standing here with what you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is y'all killed my brother, so I really don't feel comfortable around y'all at all. So I'd rather call my mama so we can have this discussion because I'm really like. How, how old are you? I'm, I'm grown. Okay. But I still don't feel comfortable around the police. That's your right. And I, I can't take that away from you. Right. So that means I that said, but I'm uh, but me as an individual, honestly, I'm gonna treat you with the utmost respect. Okay. Y'all That's how I y'all well I no ma'am. Black man. Ma'am, I, I don't right ma'am. Very don't play the innocent black man. I don't know your brother. I don't know the situation, but I can give you the utmost respect if you allow That's me to. That's not giving me respect because you how are you trying to belittle little me right now? That's belittling me. How am I belittling you? Because I told you that my brother killed, uh, got killed by an officer. And I'm he telling you, I'm going to give you the I utmost respect. What you're saying, but I'm also telling you that it's belittling me as well. She goes on and on about this, right? Well, she's ner- That's nervous energy, by the way. But I mean, that like be as straightforward as I can. Is are you playing the victim card? Like, are you? But I. But I'm going to give you. Officer standing over me. 
But I'm going to. I'm going over. He's five feet away. He's standing in the doorway. I can see the doorway. So I'm telling you, I'm I'm very uncomfortable with the. What would make you feel comfortable, man? Feel more comfortable in the back of the police car? (laughs) Hog (laughs) tied. You can go stand over here. No, that's not how it works, ma'am. You don't get to dictate that. It really is. No. It's called freedom of speech. I know my rights. Well, you got the right to say what you want, but you don't get to dictate how. Things are handled. I understand what you're saying. Freedom of speech gives you the right to say whatever you want. However, it does not give you the dictate how we conduct our criminal investigation. Would you like EMS? Yes. Okay. And I also would like my mother as well. Our detainee is requesting EMS reference an anxiety attack. Uh, it would be a black female. How old are you, ma'am? 32. 32 year old black female. I killed my brother, and, I, and I also I've been telling the officer this for the past two years, and I feel uncomfortable every time I come around. Okay. This is the like the part where I have sympathy for the the police officer after this because I'd be like, shut up, shut up, because your brother won't be the only one killed. She's like, y'all kill black people, <laughs> like what? Well, and he's he's and, black, and, and, and I'd be like, and you're black, right? So. <laughs> Do we have the video and everything for that? We'll need the video, yeah, no, but she, but she's saying it wasn't her. She's here now, but she's saying it wasn't her that it that went to Columbia. Okay. Let me, with let, me let me talk to her. But that's not a crime, though. What? To remove your funds and say it wasn't you? <laughs> that is a crime. It's, it's a scam. Well, yes, yeah, it a was scam. you. <laughs> It bothers me that you just said that. I think all that jail time would have done something. <laughs> My brother, that's I told you that. And you're smiling about it, but it's not funny, sir. It's no, not no it's not fair. It's Look, funny. It's funny to him. It's funny to him. I'm looking at him laugh. Every time I look at him, he's smiling. It, it appears like, that you're I'm trying not, to find something I'm not, to, I'm not trying to find uh, engage me on. You, you're not gonna I told get it. You Exactly what it was. And I get the officer killed my brother. So, with that being said, hey, hey, Miss Quintero, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but um, I'm Officer Baldwin, and I would like to talk to you okay. in reference to why I'm here. Okay, but right. before I do that, I have to read you in a four G your rights. Okay. If I'm not detained, why am I getting read rights? No, you are detained. That's the point. You're detained. That's why I'm reading you your rights. I told you you're detained. You're not under arrest, but you are detained. Go ahead. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Before yes, ma'am. Why did he take my phone? Because you're detained and I don't want you making okay, any phone but calls right now. Take my phone. I do. I ain't gonna, Your I'm hands gonna are in the front of you and I don't need you making any phone calls. But my, that's my personal property. I understand. I that has been. So, because in law it says that I have to accept you. So, we have to. So, you have to understand all of the emotions and anxiety that's going on with her. She's, she's a mess right now, she's an emotional wreck. What's even funnier is, I'll, okay, then I'll bring you back the phone. Here, I'll put it here. I'm going to put the handcuffs behind your back so you can't use it. <laughs> oh, you, I don't want, to, no, I don't want you to use your phone. Like, that's the whole point. You're lucky you have them. I've never had my handcuffs in front of my, in front of me, ever. Okay. You can close it over. I'm not, EMS is here to get, uh, you get checked out. She, How are you? I'm all right. She says she's having an anxiety attack because. This man is standing over me. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll check your vitals, okay? Your blood pressure is a little elevated, but that's to be expected. You're under, you know, emotional I arrest. Am, I'm not mad about that. What I'm mad about is the fact that the police who kill young, black, innocent men mm-hmm. is standing over me. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that I'm mad about. I ain't mm-hmm. mad about nothing else. Well, I don't think this is racially... It ain't racist because he black. Hi, that's racist. You're the one. She's the one who brought up black. Has anything to do with it? Yes. Okay. I understand you're upset. I'm upset because this man is standing over me. That's the only reason why I'm mad. Well, yeah, I'm not mad about going to jail. All right, we didn't bring your ass over. We're going to tack on 2,500 bucks for us coming out here, by the way. (laughs) Oh, they take her out so she can show her. They're showing the evidence. That's right. Yeah, that's her. Miss something. Okay, yeah, now that's her. That's her. (laughs) Yeah. This is the... Yeah, okay. The girl that we have detained. Of Cologne, yeah. Uh, from Cologne. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I didn't gave him five thousand dollars. You gave uh, someone five thousand dollars cash? Yes. Uh, my money, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to run a business, and I needed somebody to double it. 
Like if you if I don't know if you like on Facebook or anything like that, mm -hmm. but people like they like if you send twenty five thousand, we're gonna send. I mean, if you send twenty five dollars, we're gonna send you twenty five thousand. Now that's just I don't know if that's fraud. Really you don't know that that's fraud. But that to me is the crime is when you report it. Look. Because you give me 50 bucks? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm asking people you. People do it. People do it every day, sir. I don't know. Like, Who does it? A lot of people here, everywhere, like all over the world. I ain't even gonna lie. You've been all over the world? I ain't been all over the world, but I met a couple people. How long has he had an account with you? These are all new accounts since the, the 1st of February. Mm. The three, all of them. Yeah, the three of them, new accounts. Mm hmm. Went and opened new accounts. Her account's new as well? Yeah. February 1st, all of them. Open the same day. Yes. Let me make sure. Hers, I know for sure because I told her. Kevin is... Two, no, 131, which is the day before. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so he started the ring, huh? He was, he was, he's the leader. This money transfers in his account and he distributes it to her or her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then they were here this morning, both of them, to withdraw 10. They actually okay. got out from Killarn and they did withdraw at Killarn. Okay. And then they came here to withdraw and that's where we got them. How much did they get from Killarn? She got 7,000 and she got 10,000. Matt, but you're on the fact that he wired the money in there. They're not in there to say that it wasn't them that took the money out earlier. It, it is. She came in and they said they had opened an account for her. Right. $10,000 had been wired into the account. She then removed the that money from another bank. Right, another she, location. Right. She and, then goes across town to this bank and yeah. says, I need to remove... $10,000. And when they checked it, they said there's no money in the account. It was withdrawn. She said, that wasn't me. Hoping they would give her the money anyway by saying someone stole my money. It wasn't well, me. And that my whole point is she's not saying someone stole her money. No, she's saying, she all she's saying is I didn't take the money out. Right. That's not me. I didn't take it out. Right. So she's said, clearly saying it's somebody else, <laughs> which is the wasn't me scam. I, I, but the, the, the wasn't me. It's okay to say I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong all the time, Zach. But the, okay, yes, Trust me, yes, ask my okay. wife. She loves to Where remind is, me. Can we call her? Hey, sorry to interrupt the video. Just want to let you guys know that we're going to have an extra 15 or 20 minutes of content on my Patreon. It's $10 a month uh, for about an hour's worth of extra content every single week. Back to the podcast. But the wasn't me scam, right? is contingent upon the filing of the claim, not the removing of money. There's no way, I'm serious. It's the filing of the claim. We're and, not writing a legal motion okay, here. But the reason I say that, Matt, is because no fraud department is gonna call the police because you go in and say, hey, I'm here to pick at $10,000. Well, you don't have $10,000. Okay, well, somebody took my money and it wasn't me. Hold on a second. I'm going to call the police they, on you. They obviously did because they, she knew, by the way, the branch manager knew she had taken the money out. Remember, she she just showed the cop. Yes. She's like, yeah. She's like, I can show you. And she shows him, look, she, I got, this is clearly her. He said, yeah, yeah, that's her. So she came in a branch across town, removed the $10,000, then came here and said, I need $10,000. And she said, it was already removed. And she said, that wasn't me. That's the scam. But she obviously could check and said, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, this well, they, is a scam. She just removed well, the did, money they, from her. They did it horrendously. They did a hor <laughs> horrible job. I don't doubt that. If, 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 if you're going, because I didn't go down this road. Like, my, my focus was on that they're calling because of the money transfers in the account. No, no. That's just how they were getting the money in. Uh, what I'm saying, and if you, when we keep watching, you'll see that she also mentions that there was the initial guy had 40 grand that was in his account. He wires right. it to the other account. Right. Then he goes in and says, where's my money? Obviously, he, he's hoping or the money has to be removed from there. And their whole thing is obviously, well, I, I assume, is that we're going to open an account. We're going to say someone took the money. We're going to get the money back. 
And then they'll never look at, they probably watched my podcast is what happened. They probably said, no, no, listen, I listen. To, I'm waiting for them to say, listen, I'm telling you, Black Zach used to do this all the time. Now, how <laughs> well, funny would that be? Y'all are doing it wrong. That would be great. <laughs> but they get, but you, you have to yeah. also understand too, what is their, their, what is their level of expertise? What is their, you know, their skill level? They can't go get a fake ID. You had a guy who had a, a thermal printer that could make IDs. They can't. They're like, find some poor person who will open up an account. We'll put ten thousand in. They remove it. Then they say it wasn't them. They get another ten thousand, and you can keep ten. You can keep five of the ten. Well, we'll split it. My, well, and 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 I don't want to say you're right yet. Let's keep watching. I but my kill him. My, my concept is I was focused on the wiring of the money in. Bro, I hear you. I hate being wrong. Yeah. I, I'm I'm with you. I hate it. <laughs> no, I hate it. No, you know, you left hate, me. Thank, you left me about 30, 40 minutes ago. When we started. Thank the God it happens. Thank God it happens so seldomly. <laughs> Bastard. You're saying you gave some guy five thousand dollars, right? And you had thirty dollars in your account, right? At what point did you end up make having? I didn't put the five thousand on the car. I gave it to him in cash. Right. Right. I mean, at the very minimum. I don't believe any of this. It, her story keeps changing. Grand theft. Grand theft. Organized scheme and grand theft. I don't know about that. I'm saying, what did you come here today? Yeah, today I So how did your account go from 30 bucks to $10,000? That's what I'm saying. The man, he said he put the 10000 on there. She's saying that it's like $40,000. That's my How would somebody put $10,000 in your account? That's what I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you put money on a on a car. That's how many times do you think somebody breaks in a house while the people are on vacation and then puts TVs in someone's house? That I guess. How many times do you think a crook hacks into someone's bank account to give them money? I guess all the time. <laughs> hmm. Listen to what she's saying. She's lying and you can't believe anything she says. Hacks into a bank. This guy here, the elderly, the 84 years old, went to Quincy to file a dispute because he didn't know what was going on with his account, poor thing. Yeah, he didn't know how they got his. Yeah. There's an old man who's got 40 grand. They wire, they get access to his account. They wire, probably from a caregiver or something, wire the money into different people's accounts that, that they had opened the account. Hers is one of them. My, hello, hello, viewing audience. Did I not say this at the beginning? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They, they took it out of the old man's account and wired it to them, and they're removing it. And then they're going to say, wasn't me. Give me my money back. Oh. The scam oh, so is they, the they, wasn't they, me. They, the scam is. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And the $40,000 that was missing from the old man's account. <laughs> hello. Hello. <What? laughs> you guys say? That? No. Him, hey, fresh mind. Let's just ask your opinion if you got a moment. For you have like 10? 10 seconds. No, a, a moment for your mind. Okay. How, I'm going to ask you this question first. Here. How often do you think someone hacks into someone's bank account and deposits money? Uh, that'd be very rare. But she thinks it's all the time. It's very rare. This one is very rare. No, but you just said it happens all the time. I don't, I don't I, know. I work, I, don't. I, work, I work nothing but financial cases with banks and money and stuff. And right. That's, let me ask you a question, sir. Okay. Now, if somebody, because I, 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 I'm not really, I'm, I ain't even gonna lie. Me and computers, I don't, I don't do computers. Okay. So. Oh, I interrupted. Is this that I just heard something? I, I just. There you go. I was just getting back. Um, okay. They said that you invoked your rights. So you oh, want to talk to us? I ain't want to talk to him. <laughs> now. Okay. So you are wanting to talk to me? Yes or no? <laughs> Because I'll read you your rights again, and if you want to talk to me, that's fine. Um, of course we want to talk to you. We want to know what you have on us. Whenever we're in that situation, we want to talk. We really want to listen. Like, can you just lay everything out so I can make excuses? It's it's up to you. It's criminating, but... I just need a yes or no answer. I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh. Boy, that holding out, fuck the police <laughs> broke down quick, didn't it? Ain't nothing I want to tell you because I didn't do nothing. So I'm trying to figure out. You're, yeah. you're, you're in handcuffs. Yeah, in a I, bank I know. Because <clears throat> she said. You're withdrawing a large amount of funds. Right. I that understand. aren't yours. 
that aren't hers. She's withdrawing what, a bunch of money that's but, not hers. But what me consists of withdrawing money that is yours. It's irrelevant. What, who put the money in the account? They're saying the money all came from. Oh my! You know, look, 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 look. I'm gonna go over this again. No, no, no. I know what happened. Okay, right, right. So, but was it me? Is withdrawing money that is yours? They're doing both scams. One, they they removed. <laughs> look, look. I'm I'm saying I did, I'm, it's a version. I'm saying they stole the money from an old person and put it and opened up accounts and withdrew the money. And it either went into another account, which was then distributed amongst three people, or they directed it, uh, direct deposited it or whatever, wired it, whatever you want to call it, from the old man's account directly to these people who just opened the, the three accounts. Probably four because it sounds like it went into one guy's account and then went into the others. Anyway, the point is, is that their only understanding of the scam is I'm going to open an account with $30. Someone's going to deposit $10,000, then I'm going to remove the $10,000, then, then I'm going to go into the bank again, another bank branch, and I'm going to say, hey, I need $10,000 out of my account. And they're going to say, well, that money was removed. It was removed earlier today. And she's going to say, from where? I didn't remove that money, hoping they'll say, oh, wow, We'll put the money back in your account. We're so sorry, not realizing that they're going to say, hold on a second. Oh, wow, that was her. Two and a half hours ago, she removed the money out of Brand in the Brandon branch, and she removed the $10,000. This is a scam. And then they call the police. Then they, they track the call, money they're back. They're calling the police on the old man money that was That stolen. may be, but she's still a part. She's a member of the conspiracy. Watch this. So he came and he was talking to us. It was like a couple of us who was in a group. And he was like, um, y'all trying to flip y'all money. And I was like, I was like, yeah, because I had like something going on at the time. I was trying mm -hmm. to get a business off the ground. So I was like, yeah. So he was like, um, well, all you got to do is go, go put a um, car in the vision. So I did that. I paid for the car and everything. The well, $30. He, he said, you got to do what? You got to go get an Envision card. Like an account? You got to have an Envision yes. account? And account. he was like, he was going to send me the money whenever he get the money. This is what happened. Sorry, there. Just, just to pause you. Where, where did he say? Did he say where this money was coming from? No, he didn't. Okay. He never told so me anything. So he was saying, he was saying that he was going to send you money for what reason to flip it? What is that? Mean? Yes, because I gave him five thousand dollars. This is cash that I gave him five thousand dollars, and he's like, I got his thing. When did you give him five thousand dollars? How about three weeks ago? What was that for? For a business that I'm trying to do. I'm doing hair. And you gave it to this random guy that you don't know? Yes. Does that make a lot of sense to it you? It doesn't make any sense, okay, but I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, though. I want to I still tell you because I feel like, okay, the day I got the card, I went to the Waffle House with the card, right? Ever since after that, I never seen the card no more. He has the card. So whoever he has with him, they the one that's getting the money out the ATM and stuff. It's not me. When we go, when y'all go into this mm -hmm. investigation, you're going to mm -hmm. see oh god girl and it's her on the camera what about today what's going on today i'm here i'm here to pay they right. said that doing, it was doing what they said that um the, um, the, um I can't believe she's like she's blaming it all on chill what happened to the street code today <laughs> and and that's how I, that's why i'm here with y'all um, do you know anybody else that this guy reached out to? Sorry. Got some yeah, I know a couple people that he's reached out to. I can call a couple people. Okay. You know their names off the top of your head? Does it sound like a legitimate way for some random guy that you barely know to deposit? Sir, at the that time, that I ain't even going to lie. At the time, because of the fact that I was in a like in a bad predicament on how you was. You had five grand in cash. Doesn't sound like you were in a bad position. <laughs> so then he stole my card. Like, to this day, I still don't have my card. Well, it sounds like he got you to open up the account. Right. That was the agreement. And then you gave him the card so he could utilize the account. I didn't know anything like about anything. that, though. It sounds though. like you gave it to him. I didn't, I didn't give it to him. I left it in his um, car. And then he said the next morning that he was going to come back and he never showed back up. Mm -hmm. How'd you know to go get the money out of the account? Okay. Was this guy have any tattoos or anything that you remember? Let's see, they need you interrogating. How'd you know to come get the money out of it? How'd you know when there was money in the account? Good question. It's not, it ain't in my phone. It's an out of town number. Um, you know what it starts with? I'm pretty sure it's probably on your, on that account though. It's a 501 number. 
On your account? Okay, would you use his phone number to nope. the account? I put I signed up my name and then he called and he said something about he needed to switch the This is the This is the scam I'm telling you about, Matt. That I think he transferred this is what I was telling you. I think somebody transferred money from somebody's account in theirs and then they tried to take it out they did take it out or, or yes and then she walked in and said that wasn't me so they're trying to they're trying to hit it on multiple they're trying to get the 40 grand they're and like, they're trying so to get another no 40 grand. They. It's, he took the money and she's like hold on i should have had some you're gonna be taken to jail so you're arrested so what's the charges you can bank fraud organized scheme to defraud and then grand theft neither one of those would come with wasn't me so Obviously, you know, that's what's going to have to happen. Um, yes, it would. Lucky for her, that bond might be about $400 in Florida. That made me didn't want to come today. Look. Right? She looks... Look, look at Ooh, this. The bad problem is they're going to take that money, too. Look. That's your ass. You see, the the problem is the whole... I didn't take the money out of the bank. This is the money that you took out a that couple hours before. Yeah, you agreed to participate in the scheme. I never knew it was a scheme, sir. I'm not going on. Anymore. How did you take this money out of your own account and then come to another bank branch and say it wasn't me? Matt, Matt, I feel like if you were there, you'd slap her. Listen. <laughs> I'm just saying, stop talking. I never got that. That's the only thing I got regular. Money before, she no, was she saying didn't. it wasn't her. Well, that's the 5000 she gave the guy initially. Yeah, Can I be on her side, please? I think she, maybe she did get 5000 After she got 10000 out, she gave him five. You know, you opened up a bank account. You gave, you, gave him, you gave him the card. And then days later, you know there's large amounts of funds in there. You I never knew that. I never knew that. I swear to God, on everything okay. I love, I never knew that. What I know is, he was supposed to give me back my money. He never gave me back my money, so I called him. And then that's when the fraud hotline called me and said that it was missing like forty thousand dollars. Ain't no way in hell you missing forty thousand dollars if I never took it out. I never took it out. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Listen. Listen. I get it. I hear you. No, I you hate. Don't. I hate you it. Don't. I hate I'm at the admitting when I'm wrong. See, it wasn't. You know what? You know what? We're taking this one because it's not your money. The envision one. You know what's funny? They really one upped you, really, to be honest. If this worked. What? If I this would, had worked. So think about I would it. never. They removed money from this one guy's account, 40 grand. They put it into these other accounts. They got out the 40, 10 in each account, got out the 40 grand, and then sent them it. So they're going to, they're hoping to end up with pulling a scam for 80 grand. She may have other bank accounts. Made that. How does she get that? If that's not the money that she removed earlier, maybe money from another account. She maybe have well, three different doubling, bank accounts. Doubling up scams is the best way to get caught. If if that's the case, I would never ever steal some money from somewhere. What's important is that she lives in Tampa. We know her name. We know she's in jail right now. So we probably need call, we, we need to, we need to, to get her on the team. <laughs> she needs a little bit of coax. She yeah. obviously don't need much coax at all. And she needs she. She needs to. Uh, the only she's so close. You, she was only, so close. The only advice you give her is not wear the hairnet. <laughs> yeah, next time, let's try not to be so ghetto. Let's not go with uh, leopard skin <laughs> and, uh, stretchies and 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 uh, the shower cap. Let, at least try and pull off the illusion that you would have ten thousand dollars <laughs> after what? after having thirty dollars ten days ago. But I'm still yeah. I opened the account with thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, ten thousand gets deposited, removed. I come back and ask for my ten thousand that was just removed, and then they check the account. Turns out you removed the money, <laughs> and that money originally the ten thousand was put in your account was part of forty thousand dollars that was removed from an eighty-four year old. What me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. That's my money because I gave it to him and I got my money back from him. You're right. You said you didn't get your money yeah. back. Yeah. 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 She just, yeah, you can't believe anything she's saying. I'm not going to do it with the other half. And that's missing. All this stuff will get impounded. That's Except it. for the toiletries, all that stuff's getting thrown away. But, but I'm sorry, okay, listen. The little $80 right there. That's going to, that's getting impounded too. So y'all going to take the money and put it inside the jail? No. No. It's this, getting this, impounded. This, at, uh, all this stuff is going to the Tallahassee yeah. Police Department with me. Yeah. So it's going to be impounded into evidence. It's, so once evidence take over, y'all have somebody that comes and get y'all get comes and get it from the sheriff's office. I, we're not the sheriff's office. No, we're we're TPD. We're, we're up here. Yeah, 
We keep it easy. Totally different. Wow, that's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Yeah, totally different. Money-wise, is ill-gotten funds from someone else, which is why you're you're in the cuff. I didn't. I never. So looked. that never that looked. that eighty dollars. Like that, I don't know. When I tell you, I'm I'm I have like something else like outside of that. So I'm really not thinking of that. All I know is <laughs> yeah. so I, I took five grand out and I'm gonna go into the bank with the five grand on me. <laughs> I might be gonna leave it in the car for <laughs> her story has changed so many times. Yeah, dude, but listen. And, and she's uh, like, I wasn't even thinking about that. Like your frame of mind, your understanding of the complete crime is irrelevant. You participated in a crime. Yes. That's all that matters. It, it's <laughs> it's the same concept of the guy who's driving the getaway car you know even if he didn't know they were robbing the bank and they ran and jumped in the car and he realized they were robbing the bank and they said drive drive and he took off you're now a part of a bank robbery yes you know so amen she's trying to say she's trying to say anything at this point that oh, will yes. spark a oh wow we didn't know that yeah, get those handcuffs off her jimmy she's done she's done and everything she's saying great evidence in court yeah this is only and, and it's all on recording so Unless you were in the jury box, you'd be like, I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> your the five thousand dollars, where did it come from? You saying that's yours? I gave him five thousand dollars. That was three weeks ago. Oh, he I was supposed gave to him five thousand. Yes, he was supposed to double it. Like I don't know if y'all on like any type of website, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. And you got the little scam people that always pop up saying that they can. They can she just the, just scam right. people. But I never went for the online thing. The only reason I went for it because he was right there in my face, visual. I don't, but I don't know him. He, we were standing at the shelter, and he came up to us, and he was like, "Well, I can help you. You know, you trying to come up? I understand. Y'all out here, y'all living bad, da da da." So I'm like, "Okay, you know." And I can call multiple people because we always standing up that day, that day. We don't know this man. We don't know him. And he, he probably had got other people like this, but he don't know us. Like we stand in front of the shelter every single day. So he sold your dream is what you're saying? Basically, yes, that's what I'm saying. And I ain't tripping because I know that I can take a trial or whatever, but still. Well, you have that right. Like I said, this is not the final say so. All right. Can I stop a cigarette? No, ma'am. Nah. I really want a cigarette though, please. Say Oh, she's breaking down. She's breaking down. She's coming apart now, man. Please, please. I'm going to do right, and I'm not going to argue with you down. No George more. Floyd made the same request. She was charged with bank fraud, grand theft, and organized scheme to defraud. Oh. She, she's looking at it all wrong. It's an opportunity to get off cigarettes. It's an opportunity to lose some weight, which she what? needs to lose. I mean, she's looking at this all wrong. Yeah, I mean, she is. She is. And she's learning. She's, she's taking the proper steps toward... Doing a proper wasn't me. Yeah. Because an yeah. improper wasn't me. No, is, it is takes time. <laughs> it takes time. Right? You can't just do it. You can't just do it. So, How like, do I hit, hit stop recording. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 can we take a verdict? I mean, Kobe, do you believe that's what me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, to me, it's a version. <laughs> they, that is stolen money. Yes, yeah, so they were trying to get out and she's trying to say it wasn't me. I think, listen, let me put it this way. Wasn't me is not stealing money. Wasn't me is more of an insurance scam. It's it's kind of like saying someone broke into your apartment, stole your stuff, right? When you, I, I gather up my expensive things, bring them to your house. Then I call the police and say, police, somebody broke in and stole my stuff. That's basically, wasn't me is an insurance. Right. So I have a question. Go ahead. The same scenario. What if initially your house was empty? So what you did was you went to someone else's house, you got their stuff stuck in your house, then insured your property, then stole your own stuff, then called the police and said, my stuff is stolen. That's, that's, <laughs> Same thing. You, somebody, and, somebody, and so, you, need so, to, you have to get the money from someplace. And, and then they got it from an 84-year-old When you're asking for the receipts, I'm like, I don't have any receipts for any. Listen now. Stop. <laughs> I get it. I hear you. I hate it when never, I have to when never I have double to admit, up. Never double up. Hustle. When I have to admit I'm, I'm wrong about something, then, then I'm you, you super go embarrassed, strictly into denial. <laughs> super embarrassed. <laughs> so I hear not, you. I that hear is you. not wasn't me. <laughs> okay, people. That was a textbook example of, of how not, not to do a wasn't not, me. Yeah, how not to do a wasn't me. <laughs>
now that we've established that, you can uh, do the extra exit. Well, no, uh, where did she go wrong? Yeah, what would be the perfect? Stealing, stealing someone else's money. Combining, so stealing someone else's money yes. and, and then saying, that is I'm going to go against the clock. Because when they stole this guy's money, there's no telling when they're going to find out about all that. Yeah. He's just, it's, it's a fly in the ointment. Yes. Hey, real quick, just wanted to let you guys know that we're looking for guests for the podcast. If you think you'd be a good guest or you know somebody, do me a favor. You can fill out the form. The link is in our description box, or you can just email me directly. Email is in the description box. So back to the video. The best version of the wasn't me. The take the money, right? At the, at, no, if you no, stole- the best, no, From the beginning. Oh, from the beginning. Best version is you take your own money, put it in the bank, we remove that money, go into the bank and say, hey, where's my money? How do you remove the money? Oh, Aren't they going to be able to? Well, you, well, you want to be on camera. Exactly. So you would go, like you said, the UPS, UPS, yeah. US to the post, post office, post office. To the United States post right. office. Or to uh, Walmart or Publix, and you buy money orders. Or they, you could even go and have somebody else use your ATM card and and go to an ATM machine and withdraw the money. Because then when it shows up, they're like, "Oh wow, that's not her. Right. Or that's not that's exactly. not Zach. That's not Matt. Somebody obviously had. Of course, you can only get out what five hundred bucks a day. Right. So you'd have to. It'd be a slow grind. Yeah. You'd be. Let's say five days later, you'd go in and say, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I just checked my account, and somebody's been removing money out of my account. But I have my card. It couldn't have been me. Somebody. You know, maybe you're gonna get twenty five. Five hundred bucks, three thousand. Right, right, right. You know, but if that's, you have three, if but, you've opened up three or four different accounts, so once, and that's why once you go into the bank to say that it wasn't you that came in earlier, right? It's it's not like well, I'm calling the cops, right? <laughs> because they're like they're not even Which, questioning where the money came from because there's clearly no, it, it's clearly you opened the bank account with your own money, yeah. But in this case, they they withdrew, they stole money from an old man, they transferred it out of his account, sent it to different accounts. And when they check, obviously they could check with the old guy and say, hey, by the way, did you, did you transfer money? Or maybe right. he even discovered it. And, and at that point, right, the- All those accounts are flagged. Yes. Right. So for her to go in, so that's why they were saying, and this is my view of it. So she, I think the guy that moved the money and she gave the card to, I think he took the other 5,000. I think 10, she- 000. Or whatever. Yeah. What ten? Well, because remember they said three people walked in and opened up accounts. Right. Ten thousand was direct deposited in all those accounts. I'm assuming he probably opened his own account first, and the, he wired the money from the old man to into, theirs into his account. He took ten grand. He then put three thousand on the other people's account. Ten thousand each. I'm sorry. What did I say? Three. Well, yeah, whatever. three thousand. Yeah, ten thousand on each account, and then told them all to go get the money out of the account. Then he said, "Go across town now." And go in and try and remove some money. They're going to tell you the money's been taken out and tell them that wasn't you. And they'll give you all the 10000 back. Like, and that'll be your, your half or whatever. Like, who knows what the conversation was. So for some reason, she went in the bank and said, what do you mean? I have $10,000. They said, no, it was just removed. And she said, oh, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. And then they probably said, well, you have to understand there was $40,000 taken out of an account. It was transferred to multiple places. And she said, 40,000. I haven't got four. I've never seen no 40,000. And she made this whole fuss about, they're saying I got 40,000. Like nobody's saying that. No. You know, so she's throwing bits and pieces out there. And obviously she kept spinning the story and spinning it and spinning it. And she's trying to figure out a yeah, way. She that, was, she was annoying. Right. <laughs> so, but she's yeah. definitely a part of a scam. And yes. yes. And, and that, that's my viewpoint of what happened. I think that, like I was telling you, somebody <laughs> transferred money. And I, I personally think the guy that transferred it withdrew the money because he had their debit card. I think she went in and took, like, I actually think that he probably did about 15 or he did an amount to make the 40000 even in each account. Okay. And I think she went in and took out some, like the 5000 she had or whatever. Well, no, they, they said it was her in the bank. Taking out the ten thousand, like they they were like that's clearly her removing the money, right? And then I and then think came back, right? And I think he took out some money. Oh, I'm sure he took out. And, and and she was saying, "What do you mean I don't have any money?" Well, somebody took blah blah blah. She's like, "I didn't, I didn't." And she might have been saying, "I didn't take none of that." You know what I'm saying? But I think that he took some money that she didn't think he took out, and she was kind of like, "Where's the money?" I don't think she was saying, "Hey, here's another scheme that we're gonna pull." I don't no, think no, when I, he I put the money in her account, the, I don't think the, she was thinking to herself, I'm going to take 10000 out now, go to another branch and tell the branch, hey, that wasn't me that took the money out earlier. 
I, I, I think that is the, what the scam is. I did because I, I don't I think, think I think I think he took some more money, and she's kind of like, "What the hell do you mean? I don't have any more money left." No, I think that she one he needed somebody to help him get the forty grand out of the bank, right? Which they I did, agree with that. Which they did, and then I think the second version of the scam that has nothing to do with her, probably just him saying, "Now go back in the bank." And tell them that you didn't take out the ten grand. They'll give you the money back. And that and and it, by that point, he she goes in. The they they check, and they're like, "Oh no no no, this is you." You know why I don't think that's the case? Why? Because she's not screaming that, like I'm not the one that took the money out earlier. That somebody else took it out. What she's saying? It, I did. She is saying that. She said that that ten thousand that was removed, like that wasn't me. And I they didn't showed the video of her taking taking it out. out. Right. So. Right, she did take it out. Right, but that's why I'm thinking he took out some money. Well, I don't know about that. That doesn't make sense at all. I don't know where you're getting that. Anyway, the point is <laughs> because she's in the bank saying I need some more money, and they're like, "You don't have any more." Well, they're saying she's the one that took the ten thousand dollars out. Anyway, oh my god, are we gonna have to watch the whole video again? <laughs> anyway, it, regardless, forty thousand is removed, put in four separate accounts, four different people removed ten thousand dollars. And then I'm assuming, and then she goes back in and says, I want $10,000. If only 10 was put in and she comes in and, at, and only 10 was removed and she comes back in and asks for 10, then the whole time it's all 10, 10, 10. So I think it's all her. Regardless, the, the point is, is that they went, so they go to a place. She's obviously living in a homeless shelter, right? You think so? Well, they said she hung, she says we hang out in front of the homeless shelter. I assume she hangs, maybe she has an apartment and that's where she hangs out. I've been to homeless shelters. To, to survey homeless people? Or I don't want to give the cop my address. I, I mean. <laughs> okay, that's true. Uh, yeah. Her whole story about the guy may be all BS. Like, who knows? I think there is a guy. Yeah, of course. I, and I, I also think that she probably does know who he is. Or maybe yes. maybe she was approached. Yeah, she was recruited. And yeah. people call all the time, hey, I need someone with this account. You got somebody with this type of account. Yeah. Do you have anybody that can open a bank account yes. that, that doesn't hasn't yes. ruined their credit or yes. ruined whatever? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Tell her I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give her if she owes it. Opens an account. I'll give her thirty bucks. Open the account with the thirty bucks. I'm going to have money transferred in. Then I'm going to we're going to have you remove the money. And then so I'm going to give you five of that. I'm going to keep five. Now you're going to go back in the bank get another ten thousand. And I'm going to get five of that. You get five. So you're going to keep ten thousand dollars. Right. Like that seems semi reason reasonable, or maybe you're going to keep five thousand of the time. Now go back in. No, she, they already gave her the five, so she there had to be an incentive for her to go for the second ten to keep five. So yeah, she's going to make ten. They're going to get ten. Um, yeah, and then what's the the incentive is? I never, I didn't have to open up a bank account, so he probably never opened a bank account in his name, or he's got a fake ID. And then, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. That's the incentive is I'm gonna, you're gonna make ten grand. You're gonna give me ten grand. Cost all of thirty bucks, which I gave you. What's the big deal? You're gonna be fine. So exactly. The, so the very least, he got ten thousand from at least her and two or three other people. Who knows how many other people he recruited? You well, know? I mean, and who who knows how many other accounts he has access to? He's do out you, there wiring money in. Do you think she knows who the person is? Like who that I, I I don't think she ultimately knows who moved the money. I think she knows the person that asked her to open that account. I think someone or approached her. At least her even to, if not, not by his full name, she knows. She right. probably knows who. Like I, oh, I think someone him. asked her to open. I think there's um, like levels of middlemen, and I think somebody, somebody who I can move money. So I say, hey Matt, find me somebody that can open up. I need three people to open up an Envision credit union account. Right, and then you'll go out and you'll say, hey. Kobe, do you know somebody? I know Shanika, you know what I'm saying? She needs some money. She she be what she be wearing a shower cap all day. <laughs> oh, how really? How, Sit on the bay. She look professional. How, <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. How um I'm shocked that they gave her the first 10 grand. They must not have no, once she got the first 10 grand, that's when they must have done an investigation. Or the guy came in and said, "Hey, there's forty thousand out of my account. What's going on?" Well, the the, the bank manager when the first, when the cop came in, she said that the back office flagged all the accounts. Right. Af, but that must have been after because they wouldn't have given her the first ten thousand out of the account well, if it had it's been the, it's the, it's interim. The, it's the act. It's the activity so fast. Right. And the money moving in, redrawn. It's the, so they're like, whoa, 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 stop everything. Let's let's look at everything. Everything's moving too fast. 
You know, and that's what happened. I was going to say, there must be software or something that notifies like, hey, 10000 yes. Like, First of all, walking in and getting $10,000 out of a bank is odd. It yes. doesn't happen a lot. People don't walk in. Typically, that requires, they're, you're going to have to probably fill out a, a cash transaction report, right? So it's over 10000 supposedly, but whatever. Or if they're like, eh, it's funny, it's exactly 10000 then they'll be like, yeah, you're right. We don't have to fill out a cash transaction report. We're going to fill out a suspicious activity report because it's suspicious. You open a bank account with $30 six days ago. Now you have $10,000 and you come and remove the whole six. That screams fraud. Yes. So that prob- they probably gave her the money and then started looking into it. Or maybe in the interim, the guy realized the money was at, re- had been removed from his account, and he called the bank, and they looked into it and said, oh, wow, we just missed it. 40000 is gone. Three people came in and opened three accounts, and somebody else opened an account or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's super suspicious. How uh, much time do you think she's looking at for plea and trial? You think um, they'll hit her with the whole 40? Um, no, I think she'll probably get, but first of all, I think her bond's going to be about four or $5,000. Um, like those second degree felonies carry like in Florida, like $2,000 bonds a piece. So she's got three. So about six grand is her bond. Um, I think if she doesn't have any priors, I think probation. And I think if she has a couple of priors, she might get a year. You know, but they're gonna want wow. they're gonna want her they're gonna want her to have probation to pay back the money. A year, yeah, that sucks. They're gonna want her to have probation for to like pay back ten the money. grand because all she really was successful at was ten well, grand. See, the the state doesn't work like the feds, and they basically the 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 state's gonna tell the bank, hey, it's gone. You know, we're gonna put it on probation. All that repaying and restitution that doesn't go back to the bank. The the, the government feels like, hey, you got FDIC. We caught the person. We prosecuted them. Any restitution they pay, hey, we keeping that shit. <laughs> so so I, I think they'll just put her on on probation for restitution. I think she like if 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 she's close to anybody that pulled that off, they would bond her out just to shut her up. Yeah. Or or like they saw that shit, they'd be like, holy fuck. They would definitely bond. Her out. That, uh, That's Mary too, without a question. That forty thousand. Do they? Recoup that physical forty thousand that these people have in these accounts to give back to that old man. Does the bank just F- no, the bank pays it back? I mean, yeah, FDIC insured. There's it's it's insured. And, and what happens to this extra forty grand that they eventually kind of recoup? They're not going to recoup it. No, even if these people make all, well, then, make, they, so, then they get some money from that. Later. Oh yeah, that that, yeah, that, that gets grand. Yeah, that gets that gets. Yeah, yeah, they'll just that, swallow it uh, up. Absorb that all gets absorbed. The FDIC pays back the financial institution. Yeah. Yeah, so these guys, they'll probably they'll probably put them all on restitution payments where they have to make payments, but the government's just gonna the state's just gonna probably keep the them. the bank. So most bank has a fraud department. The um, each bank has like the, a back office that fills out the FD FDIC is like an insurance policy. It's same thing. If someone if you've got renter's insurance and something happens, I I come in here and I take something. If you file a claim, they're gonna give you a check. They don't even really ask. They just is it federal depository insurance. Is it corporation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever dealt with uh, or heard of anybody? You know how she's talking about people on Instagram that flip your money. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You've never seen those? I mean, I've seen them, but like, do you guys have any insight as to like what they're? I, do- they're, I mean, all kind of like they're all scam. They're all so whatever. like right right now. There is a humongous field that like so when I spent my last two years in federal prison. I was hearing this and I'm like, are you kidding me? There's a humongous field of people who are calling elderly people and tricking them out of their login and code and, and wiring their money right out of their account. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I I don't know. I think it's kind of died down. I think they've warned people or they just hit so many people, but it was such a problem that Congress was actually about to expand the FDIC to cover for those people. Yeah. You know, they, they never did it. They never did it. They were about to tell the FDIC, hey, if someone tells you that they were conned out of their passcode and um, information in their bank and someone stole their money, you're still going to give them the money back. You know so, what I'm saying? So, My criminal mind was like, please do that. Let, <laughs> see, you know what the, so you know what the scam is. So I call you up and I say, listen, I'm from Wells Fargo. Now, when I call you, if you look on your phone, it says from, well, I'm using as a spoof act. It says Wells Fargo. So you go, oh, okay, what's up? They say, listen, did you recently transfer, you know, 
or make a purchase of eight hundred dollars, and you're going to no. And then they they go, okay, listen, we need, we're going to we need to access your account to correct this. We're going to send you a pin number right now. So there's somebody else trying to get into your account. Like What's they, your login? Yeah, while they're talking to you, you know, they're like, you know, Colby Baker, and they're like, hey, can you verify your account? You give them the account number. They go on, they they go in to the account, they give them the log number. They've already got other things like your, or, well, your well, they got your cell, no, they got your cell number. So they put in log your account number, cell number, and they say, we're going to send you um, a PIN number right now to your cell. They click it. You bring, they go, what is that number? And you go, 336220. And they go, okay, 336220. Okay. Now they have access. They're, the person sitting right next to them has, who has a cell phone now has access to your account. They then wire. They're like, okay, he's got X amount of dollars. They already know that- You're wealthy. I can wire, like he's got 40,000. I already know I can wire up to $10,000 before it will stop it and want to talk physically talk to him. So you know what? I'm going to wire $10,000 right now into this account. Boom, I wire it. Okay, it's done. And then they say, "Okay, thank you very much. We have it. Uh we're going to if anything else happens, we'll recontact you." And then they they go, "Oh my gosh. $10,000 was just wired out of your account." What? Yeah. You know what? Listen, we are going to send you another PIN number. So we can stop the transfer. You go, oh my God. They you gotta, you gotta, I read that, that one of the things they tell them is that they're going to close their account and transfer all their money into another account. Yeah, into it. Okay. What a, and I'm like going, and, uh, those guys. Right. Now, if, damn. They have, if they have another, if they probably, if they have under $10,000, whatever the amount right. is, then they send them another PIN number. They go, oh, okay. The, the number is 337 6205. 337 6205. Boom. Send another 10 grand. Boom. Listen. I, I watched one of these things. They got the woman for like, I don't know what, whether it was 80 or 100. Yeah. It was outrageous. 80 or $120,000. I sent it to you. It was outrageous. And the bank didn't want to pay her back. They were like, you're the one they that gave, they they gave authorized. The, you authorized this. You gave them the PIN number. We sent it to your thing. She's saying it was a scam. It was a scam. And that's what I was saying. They were, they were people like that were talking to Congress. And like people like Elizabeth Warren was screaming, well, they still should get their money back. Right. Like they wanted to make a law. That the FDIC, because basically the bank's like, look, the FDIC's not legitimately going to cover all those claims. And she wanted to say, yes, the FDIC will. You know, and it, once, the FDI, once the FDIC is mandated to cover them. They have it, to cover. It. Or you could, have you, could have your, you could have your bank charter removed. Or you could have it withdrawn. But so I read an article uh, yesterday, same thing. It was the same exact scam, the pin scam where people were calling up and they, this is Wells Fargo. This one woman even thought it was strange. So she had her sister call the bank on the other line. They go, she goes, what's the phone number? She gave her the phone number. She called the scammer because it was the scammers. It's, it's a, just because it says Wells Fargo, it's still his phone number. Oh, wow. So, when, so the sister, they were like, oh, if it is a scam, we'll know. Colby, call this number. They go, Wells Fargo. How may I help you? And they were like, it is Wells Fargo. No, I just called because I thought my sister's oh name was Okay, I'll just check it. Thanks, great. Boom. So we're going to go ahead and send you a PIN number. <laughs> you wipe them out again. Oh, my God. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, that's, you're right. It's, it's, it's definitely a scam. I, listen, the, the, we're closing your account. Yeah, and so, moving and then, it. Yeah, and, and so I'm going to transfer the whole 40 grand you have out of this account number. And over oh, to this account number. When I send you the pen, I need you to get like that. I was going, oh my God. How sick would you feel? Oh my God. And you just authorized. Right. Especially if you call the bank and you're, you're thinking, okay, well, at least I'm covered. You call the bank and they're like, did you give these people? We, apparently, we sent you a pen. Did you give someone a pen? <laughs> That so burning, get, like you said, that burning do deep inside. Do, do they get paid back the victims or? No, no, a lot of people don't. As a matter of fact, the article I read said that they only got paid back after Time Magazine got involved. And this was like six months later, Time did an article. And when Time called the bank to ask them about it, they then suddenly decided, you know what, we're going to give them that person the money back. Because, yeah, because con- they were saying federal regulators were screaming that that this would be, not, that should be covered. Mm. So it was just the same thing that Zach's saying. It was this, I mean, that article I read. Was I, I was reading, it. like, you know, I can't, my politics levels up. I was reading all that stuff and I'm going, oh my God. Like they, they were actually considering that. Like expanding the FD, because the FDIC is ran by 
Really, the Senate, yeah. That seems reasonable to me, the, especially if it's an old person. Like it's it's some old person who just trans- I didn't I mean, just transfer. Just old. You gotta, if you do it for them, you got to do it for everybody. No, I I agree. I'm not saying that, but I'm oh. saying like you can't possibly think that this person doesn't deserve their money back. They just wired a hunt. They just moved a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. You can you know what the scam is? You know how they got caught? Like come on, you know. I love the banks when they used to. Bank of America, when that law got passed that said any money that was transferred out of your account that you didn't pull, that you didn't authorize, like we automatically, we, we'll pay you back within 24 hours. They did, a, they had a whole ad campaign that made it seem like your money's safe with us. As In fact, if money is withdrawn from your account and or, or transferred and you didn't have anything to do with it, Bank of America will give you mo- your money back within 24 hours. They made it seem like this is part of our policy. That's part of your policy. The government's making you do that. They just <laughs> passed a law and they were passing it off like we're that good to our customers. You weren't you weren't up until Tuesday when they passed that law. <laughs> when the mandate came down. Yeah, Monday you now, weren't giving anybody their money back. We'll be happy to do it. Well, I mean, what do you have to lose if the if the FDIC is gonna refund you? Right, but they they just weren't doing it. They weren't giving them back. No, period. Like, well, hey. no, but then the, they passed. You know, in my mind, I'm, you know, electronics such, transfer my, act. That's my scam called. mind says they're probably, they probably still getting the money from the FDIC, the Bank of America. Like, hey, put that, they're like, so we're not putting in the claim? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're just not giving them their money. Right. Back. <laughs> or, or could you imagine that, that they, uh, the person came in and cut the check back? That's great. We'll pocket that money and make the claim. That's we right. have the police report. That's right. The money's set aside. That's it's just right. waiting for someone to take it. I mean it. I, what, what are we doing? Yeah. That's what I think. Hey, if you like the video, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Also, please consider joining my Patreon. We've got an extra 15 or 20 minutes of this conversation from a couple of things that we did that we're going to put on Patreon. So uh, I really appreciate it. It's $10 a month. It's um, exclusive Patreon uh, material, or content, whatever. Please leave me a comment. And uh, that's it. Thank you. See ya. Peace.